show two sticky TV on another wonderful day. Oh, Good to be here. Come to the bathroom. Need help. Jeff. Uh, look, if, if he's here, I'm not here. No, I'm not here if he's here. So, trick challenge on. Where's it going? Where's it going? I'm not taking my head. What? There it is. Where's it going, Jeff? It's down there, Jeff. It's in the hoop, Jeff. Oh. I made it go invisible. I made it go invisible. And look, it's gone invisible. Yep. Swish. Look at this, Jeff. There's no one even here. There's no one even here. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh my God. God. They have sent us a collage and loads of photos of the story of the hungry caterpillar. It's all about how when he eats cakes and lollies he gets a sore tummy, but when he eats fruit and vegetables he grows strong and becomes a beautiful butterfly. And the most annoying of all is when you don't have a place to park your bike and lately it's gotten into a little bit of trouble. Hey, yo, can you do me a favour? Yeah. Just hold this for a sec. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Turns out I got into a little bit of trouble with Jeff too. Oh. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, not ideal. So I've decided to make myself a bike rack. I was up to all hours of the night trying to get to the bottom of the scratching, sniffing sound. It started at 2 a.m. in the morning. Of course, I had my suspicions. It wasn't Sam. It wasn't Karnoa. And whatever it was, Teddy could hear it too. I decided to investigate. But that didn't last too long. Whatever it was, car night, was sniffing a lot, which means it must need a tissue. The thing is, we were just hit by a random sticky TV earthquake. Some of us made good decisions, some of us made bad decisions. Let's look at Jeff's decision. Good or bad? Let's have a look. Now this is a bad decision. Never ever go outside when an earthquake strikes because heavy things can fall on you like trees and power lines and buildings. Good afternoon and welcome to Sticky TV. I am Carnoa Lloyd. And I am Sam Wallace. Welcome to Sticky News. This afternoon we are crossing live to our reporter in the field, Jeff Bell. Jeff! Come in. Hello Sam and Carnor. Word on the street is that Sticky TV has a brand new VIP club and it is the hottest thing out. Someone keeps leaving big long curly hairs in the bathroom all over the floor and in the plug hole. What are you trying to say Jeff? Are you trying to say it's my hair? <laughs> well it wasn't my hair and Sam's hair is a lot shorter than that. All I'm saying is Carnor, just pick up the hair, put it in the bin. Totally. Cool, thank you. So what are you up to this afternoon? Just in my art room. <laughs> 39 seconds to beat, on your mark. So you got to take Three, it two, one, and you're on! Go! Dig it, mate! Oh, yeah! Mind the mud! Whoa, that's slippery. Holy moly, that's slippery! <laughs> Whoa, oh, the power! How's he doing, Carnot? Oh, that's some smooth form, Whoa. but look what I've got. <laughs> Have you ever had this argument with yourself? Would you like muesli? Um, don't really feel like chewing on sawdust, and the last time I poured milk into my sawdust, it actually jumped out of the bowl. How about some porridge? Don't really feel like eating slop. Do you have anything in the middle? Okay, something in the middle. 
don't really have anything in the middle. Now you do though. Now um, when you're taking off on a hill, you need perfect throttle control, perfect handbrake control, perfect clutch control, all while moving forward, not over revving the engine or rolling back. There's a lot to think about. Sounds really easy, so uh, let's do this thing. All right. Okay, so start the car. All right. Clutch in, clutch in. Yep. Okay, okay that's good. Step one, under control. Yeah, so now you need to uh, put it in first. Now you need to indicate and check the road is clear. Yeah, it's all clear. Okay, now because there's a bit of weight in the car with Jeff in the back there, <laughs> um, you're going to need to give it lots of throttle. Okay. And you need to release the brake as well, so you need to put that hand on your handbrake. And I've got my hand there as a safety. Now okay. heat a bit more throttle and release the clutch slowly and the handbrake. Oopsies, no, hold on. What's up? <laughs> I just forgot to take the clutch off. <laughs> yeah, clutch off. More throttle. More throttle. Well, not maybe that much. But let, let go of that clutch, can't all. Otherwise, we're not going anywhere. And let off the handbrake. More throttle, more throttle, more throttle. Yo ah! Are you up. kidding me? Are you kidding me? That was amazing. Totally easy. Don't even worry about it, guys. In fact, it doesn't really matter what we do around here. Nine times out of ten, it seems to turn to custard. Well, apart from that time I made the jetpack. These are fantastic, aren't they? Oh, look at them! <laughs> what? Did he just actually make that jetpack work? 